Hello world, thanks for tuning into today's Spider Spider video. We're going to have a look at the weather. So it's 10 14 days for today's Spider video. Day 10 will take us to the uh, 19th of April. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extension of Fairs and each of ensembles. We're going to try to couple weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into early May. I shall get right back for you in a moment, just to say that first. Video details are 6 UK weather forecast, and we've also released the EC30 data for the UK and rest of Europe as well. So please check out all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody. See that. Like, share, and subscribe on those bids. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, we're going to start off with the temperature. The CT ticked up again, ever so, ever so slightly uh, yesterday. So we are now sitting at 11.6, which is 3.7 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 8th of April. So nearly 4 degrees above uh, the 61 to 1990 average for the first week of April. It has been exceptionally, exceptionally, put your teeth in gap, on the mild start to uh, April. That will tick down, I think, today, because it's pretty cold out there. I've just been out and uh, here in the towers, you know, and uh, it's pretty chilly, cold and wet today. So uh, I reckon that will uh, tick down tomorrow. But probably not for long, because there's more mild weather on the way. So these are the GFS upper air temperature precipitation ensembles. So it's going to hinkly today. I'm off to hinkly a little bit later on. Car hunting. <laughs> so well, I'm going to go rugby. I'm going to go Hinkley. So we'll see if uh, that yields any success. Northampton on Saturday was a washout. Um. <laughs> anyway, literally today a washout as well, of course. Uh, anyway, so right now we're below average with the upper air temps. Actually, having a little bit of a cold start, but not for long. From tomorrow onwards well, through to the end of the week, those upper air temperatures rise up again. Uh, become very mild, if not warm. However, another cold snap showing up here into the early part of next week. So early next week, you do it all over again, what we're doing early this week, really, with another cold snap um, showing up. After that, it looks like we're close to the long-term average. There is a lot of scatter within that, though. So we've got the milder ensemble members up here, and uh, we've got the cooler ensemble members down here. So quite uncertain, I think, will be going on through the uh, third to the final week of April. Precipitation wise, so here's today's wet and windy weather. We are going to have some drier conditions right at the end of the week and into the weekend, so that's some good news. So as we get this warm up, the, that's from the Azores high building up for south, it will also dry things out a little bit. But uh, early next week, we're back to what uh, wetter conditions yet again, I'm afraid. Doesn't look as wet as it has been, but still not completely settled, to be honest. Still not completely settled. Uh, temperature anomalies from the night 17th of April, about average, not particularly big deviation, slightly above. Precipitation anomalies from the night 17th of April, wetter than average in the north, driving average in the south, that's from the Azores, high of course, building up from the southwest. The latest wind map from Earth, no school dot net shows a deep area of low pressure sitting in the North Sea, and we're bringing in a cool or quite cold actually northwesterly wind today uh, with showers or longer spells of rain. The next weather system here will be uh, with us tomorrow, bringing more wet weather, and that one will drag in the mild air from the uh, southwest as well. Right, so let's start going through the chart data. Maybe it's our UK Met Europe run. It's looking for midnight on Friday. High pressure building up from a south. It's all tight and flighting to our south, turning pretty warm through the uh, last stages of the week. Into the weekend, we're going to a cooler sort of westerly flow with shower conditions in the north, pretty much you dry though down in the south. By the beginning of next week, the wind turns into the northwest. So that's where that little cold snap comes from. That's from the ensemble graph. A northwesterly bringing showers. They might turn wintry up in the uh, north with that. We'll feel quite chilly early next week, I think. And then uh, Icon again builds up high pressure south, brings out to warm southwesterly up uh, with it. Temperature should get to about 20 degrees, I would have thought. Friday afternoon, that could last into Saturday afternoon as well. However, the uh, wind go, uh, goes more westerly by the end of Saturday and into Sunday. So that brings some cooler air in from the Atlantic. Not cold, though, and not as much of a northwesterly of Icon again today. Saw me just saying, not as much of a northwesterly of Icon as like the uh, UK Met was showing uh, a second ago. So early next week, not as chilly. That's quite cold in the far door. Um, and again, main drive, it could be a bit showery in the north half country. KMA, uh, <coughs> like that. <coughs> 
So sorry, buddy. KMA looks like this. So uh, again, we bring a deeper area of road pressure in with the KMA through the weekend. So the KMA could actually turn quite wet and windy uh, as we progress through the weekend to the beginning of next week with that area of low. And a strong northwesterly wind as well, bringing in some uh, quite cold air from the north. The wind turns northerly, so showers could well turn to snow in the north and the northeast of that. High pressure bridging in from the Atlantic. That'll be quite a cold race, so watch out for some uh, potentially quite damaging uh, late frost. Um, then we get to the end of the KMA run. Looking rather blocked here, size of northern blocking, actually. Uh, so, definitely drier, but rather chilly, I think, with that. And um, there is some quite cold air city across all parts of Europe, actually. So, uh, quite a chilly KMA today. Certainly the risk of some late season and, of course, due to time of year, damaging frost. GFS Midnight Run, again, building up that high pressure from south at the end of week. Very mild, if not warm, and mainly dry. Then we go flat and westerly through the weekend, so things cool down, but not cold. This low pressure then sinks in late Sunday into Monday, bringing unsettled conditions with it, and pulling the wind into a colder northwest as well. It's looking rather cold and showery for the early part of next week. And uh, then day 10, we've got another area of road pressure knocking on the door. High pressure trying to ridge in from the uh, southwest, but it all looks a little bit flimsy today, I have to say. We may be wobbling a little bit, certainly with GFS anyway, may be wobbling a little bit on this idea of the uh, high pressure taking over through the third week of uh, April that we've been talking about in the videos lately. We are close to high pressure, though, don't get me wrong. So it's drier as we go through that, uh, that third week of April to the last week of April. Um, but all looking a little bit flimsy and all rather chilly as well. That gets us to 25th of April as far as we go to with the uh, UK, with the uh, GFS, sorry. And then the GFS 6, the latest uh, GFS run, again, builds high pressure up the south, brings up those warm southwesterly winds at the end of the week. We go cooler with a westerly into the weekend. Then wind turns into the northwest with this area of low sunny through to Monday. That will bring further wet weather with it. Northwesterly to northerly winds by Tuesday. So looking quite cold through the early part of uh, next week. Staying unsettled as well through next week. Another area of low pressure perhaps bringing more wet weather into uh, the north around day 10. And even to extend it again, you know, it's delaying building in higher pressure. So we do eventually get some high pressure. 22nd of April, got an area of high pressure over the country. But it's all looking, I say, it's all looking a little bit wobbly today with this uh, high pressure idea. Eventually, we get a high pressure over Scandinavia. But we have still got low pressure both to our south and our west. Uh, <laughs> so does the GFS 6 then ever really get an area of high pressure going? I expect it does for a day or two about the 22nd of April, but uh, I don't know. I think it's all looking a little bit flimsy today. Let me know what you think in the comments, this idea of high pressure. I think we're wobbling a bit. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Make sure to share everyone for doing that. Why don't you drop a comment let us know nothing about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about that as well. Please thank you everyone for doing that. We need to put on around 14, 15, 14 subscribers. Get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be amazing and incredible. Thank you so much. GM, again, builds that high pressure up from the south, mostly dry. And warm at the end of the week. We go flat or westerly through the weekend. Cooling things down from the uh, Atlantic then. Into next week though. Low pressure deepens and plunges into the North Sea. That brings in the North West to normally colder to the early part of uh, next week. And rather showery as well. <coughs> so, so much more everybody. And then day 10. It looks like that's still a little bit changed, but especially so in the northern half of the country. Some higher pressure down to our southwest, but struggling to build in, build in, you know, definitively. And then the ECM, it looks like that, drawing up that southwesterly once again as we go into Friday. So looking warm on Friday, temperature could reach 20 degrees, but through the weekend, cools things down with wind pulling back into the west again. Then this low pressure drops in from the Atlantic early next week, brings rain and a cold northwesterly to a uh, northerly push. Staying showery through the middle and second half next week as well, and quite cold too. Um, and out of all the model output, I have to say the E7 is looking the coldest, I think, with like a northeasterly uh, there by day 10. High pressure out to the northwest, low pressure over France, Germany, and uh, bringing in like a northeasterly wind. And the upper air temperatures with that 
are quite cold, cold enough for showers to be wintry. Not sure about that. It looks a little bit of a synoptic outright compared to all the other model output. But uh, again, it is all looking a little bit, you know, a little bit dodgy today in terms of high pressure building in and turning us drier and warmer. Uh, this is with precipitation forecast based on the ECM road from TomatoShow.com. So, uh, more wet weather piling in from off the Atlantic over the uh, next couple of days. But things will be drying out for the second half week, especially in the south. Still some rain, though, up in the north and in the northwest. And then uh, through the weekend, we turn cooler and unsettled with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. That eventually brings the wind round to the northwest of the north. So, showers turning wintry, particularly in the northern half of the country. Uh, for the wet weather coming in through the uh, middle phase of uh, next week as well. Uh, <laughs> then we're into those northeast winds. Look how widespread the wintry showers are there. 18th of April, even down in South, there's a little bit of snow being predicted. Here. That might be a bit over the top, but it certainly looks chilly there, if not cold, up to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. From the uh, Icelandic Met Office, gets us to the 19th of April. 20 members of the ECM on top of the control and the operational run with low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west, and winds coming in from quite a cold northerly, or in terms of the operational run, northeasterly wind direction. We've got 17 with deep low pressure over and to the east of the country. A ridge is in the Atlantic, so that looks quite cold and wet. And then we've got 14 with low pressure to the east, high pressure again. In the Atlantic, looking cold and unsettled with that as well. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us 24th of April. 25 members of the ECM ensembles men with high pressure out to our northwest. Chop of low pressure in the North Sea. So that's going to be chilly and showery, probably. 14 with a Scandinavian high. Well, high pressure in Scotland to Scandinavian winds in from the east. That should be drier. Could be a little bit on the cool side. And 12 with high pressure to our west and northwest. Again, that will be drier, but could again be a little bit on the cool side uh, with winds coming in from a northeasterly direction. But it's still a trend here within the East Island Tarbles to build in high pressure by two weeks out. But the position of the ridge does look as though it's uh, probably going to be quite a chilly one. And then finally, Surf SB2, these are 500 millibar height and orange breakdown. Into week appears the first week then takes us from the 9th to 15th of April. So this next week has high pressure to the south, low pressure is to the north, and we're drawing up this very mild or warm southwesterly wind. Week two will be the 16th to the 22nd of April. High pressure then is to our west, low pressure to the east, northwesterly winds. So again, mostly dry, could be a bit showery in the north from the east and feeling rather chilly. Week 3 will be the 23rd to the 29th of April. High pressure in the Atlantic going up to Greenland. Low pressure across Western Europe and winds in from a northeasterly direction. So, um, well, <laughs> that does look actually like it could be quite cold and maybe unsettled. Oh, dear. Um, and then week 4 looks rather strange. It's the 30th, oops, it's the 30th of uh, April to the 6th of May with high pressure. Um, well, it's like a northern blocking feature, really, from Scandinavia to Greenland, Iceland, and low pressure down here. And uh, that, <laughs> that could keep things unsettled again. Perhaps a bit warmer. Um, but I don't know. I think it's all looking a bit dodgy today in terms of high pressure building for a sustained period. I'm so sorry, everybody. I know we all want some high pressure dry things out for a week or two. And certainly the end of this week is looking mostly dry for a few days. So, got to get that on the table. But, um, I don't know. I think we've wobbled a bit today on the idea of building in a sustained area of high pressure in the second half of April. But we shall see. Anyway, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. Why don't drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't get to a friend's mark as well. Let's show you everybody for doing that. Just tell us what's happening on the channel tomorrow. Again, have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day coming up for you as well tomorrow. So uh, please keep checking back to the channel for more. Right, I'm off car hunting. <laughs> so uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks so much.